In this video, you will learn to write decimals and fractions as a percent, and how to write a percent as a decimal and a fraction. So to begin, we first must understand what the word percent means. The word percent literally means hundredth, or divided by 100. And the symbol we see is right here. When I write it here in the lesson, I'm going to write it something like this. All right, so make sure you know the symbol as well. All right, so to understand this concept of hundredth, okay, we're going to take a look here at a couple of different pictures. So what we have here is a 10 by 10 square. So we have 100 squares, 100 little squares total inside of this. So the question is, what percent is shaded? Well, if there's 100 little squares total, we have to figure out how many of these little squares are shaded in. Well, each column has 10 in them. So this is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So we have 50 out of 100 shaded. So as a fraction, that would be 50 over 100. And as a percent, that is 50%. Okay, that is 50 out of the 100 total. So for this next example, what percent is shaded? Well, here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 columns all shaded in. Each one has 10. So we have 80 little squares total shaded in. So we have 80 out of 100 shaded in, which would be 80%. It is 80 hundredths. All right, this next example, we need to figure out again what percent is shaded. Well, here we have 10 in this column plus 10 more in this column. That's 20. And then we have 1, 2, 3 more shaded in. So we have 23 out of the 100 total. So 23 hundredths or 23% of this is shaded in. So this is how you can maybe picture what we mean by percent. This is one way to kind of think through it. All right, and our objective though is we want to be able to convert um, a fraction such as this, 50 over 100, which would be, by the way, same thing as 1 half, convert that to a percent, how to convert a percent back to a fraction, and then we also want to do the same thing with decimals because, for example, this is 0.8. How do we convert 0.8 to a percent and vice versa? So that is our objective from this point on. So to change a decimal to a percent, this is actually uh, pretty quick because to do this, all we do is we simply move the decimal point two places to the right. So for example, if we had 0.37, and we are told to convert this to a percent. 0.37 is the same thing as 37 hundredths. And percent, by definition, means hundredths, or divide by 100. So 37 hundredths, or 37 percent. So what we did is we moved the decimal point over one, two places to put it right here. And that gives us 37 percent. So try the next examples. Example two, we have 0.59. How would you write this as a percent? Well, to do that, we can move the decimal point over two places. That gives us 59. So the answer is 59%. What about example three? Here we have 3.51. Again, we move the decimal point two places to the right. So this decimal point move over one, two places after the one. That gives you 351%. Now what about example four? We have one. What is one equal? Well here, there's just one digit. The decimal point is assumed to be at the end. That goes for any number, by the way. If there's not one written, it's assumed to be at the end. So this is one point, and you can even add zeros, 1.0, 0, 0, et cetera. And to move the decimal point over two places, we had to add those zeros to see where it ends up. It goes over one, two places to the right, takes it right here, which gives us 100, or 100%. So one is 100%. Now what about going the other direction? 
what about going from percent to a decimal? Well, from decimal to percent, we move the decimal point two places to the right. To go the other way, we move the decimal point two places to the left. So for example, if we had 48 percent, 48, our decimal point is assumed to be after the eight. So to convert back to a decimal, to get rid of the percent, move it back the other direction, to the left, two places, to get 0.48. So try the next examples on your own. See if you can get the answer. Example six, we have 76%. What would this be as a decimal? Well, if you were to say 0.76, you are correct. Because our decimal point is starting right here, right? There's an assumed decimal point at the end of any number. It's not written. So it's right here, 76, at, after the six, and then move it over two places to the left. That gives us 0.76. Now what about example seven? We have 247%. Well again, same thing. Our decimal point is right here, is assumed to be at the end, and then to convert percent to a decimal, we move that point two places to the left, which puts it right here after the two, and that gives us 2.47. Now example eight, we have 600%. What would this be as a decimal? Well, as a decimal, we need to move the decimal point two places to the left. So it starts here at the end, goes two places to the left. That gives us 6.00, which we don't need the zeros at the end of a decimal. So that can just be written as six. So 600% is the same thing as six. Okay, so we've learned how to convert between decimal and percent. Next, we're gonna work with fractions. How do you convert a fraction to a percent or a percent to a fraction? Well, to change a fraction to a percent, there's actually two different ways we can approach this. Method one, which is our primary method for this lesson, is we want to divide. We divide and then just convert the decimal to a percent. And we'll give you an example of that here in a moment. Method two is we could write the fraction as something over 100. So method two is not the primary method because this only works in certain situations uh, where the denominator is a factor of 100. So if it's not, then you have to use method one. So I'll show you both, but then as we progress after this point, we're gonna stick with primarily method one. All right, so using method one, let's say we had two fifths, and we are to write this as a percent. So using method one is we would divide, so the two divide by five, right? Because fraction means division. So we take two divide by five. So this one, uh, you probably should have memorized to be 0.4. If you don't, you go through the division process, two divide by five. You add a decimal point and a zero. Five goes into 20 four times, decimal point goes here, four times five is 20, subtract, and there is no remainder. So as a decimal is 0.4. As a percent, which is what we're trying to do, trying to write as a percent, Remember, we can move the decimal point two places to the right. So when you move it to the right, you have, uh, you have to add a zero to move it over. So move it over two places to the right. One, two, put a zero at the end. So this becomes 40. So our answer is 40%. Now the other method is as follows. We can take our fraction and try to rewrite this as something over 100, right? Because um, that's what percent means. Percent means divide by 100. So whatever number goes up here in the top, that's gonna be our percent. So here we see it written down here. We put a variable just because we don't know what it is. And we see that five times 20 gives you 100 on the bottom. Do the same thing on the top. Two times 20 gives you 40. So two fifths equals 40 over 100. Percent by definition means 
divide by 100. So because we're dividing 40 by 100, that's 40%. So our solution is 40%. So notice that method two would only work, um, work simply if this denominator right here is a factor of 100, where we can divide or we can uh, multiply something to get 100. So this doesn't work very well if you have something like this, where you have one third, for example, because I write this as something over 100. Well, three times what is 100? Well, it's gonna be some decimal or fraction, right? <clears throat> so this will not work very simply. So this denominator, we want to be something like, uh, something that you can multiply to get to 100. So like four, five, 10, 20, 50. So numbers like that are gonna be good for method two. So because method two is only good for certain situations, we're going to focus primarily on method one, where you divide and then convert the decimal to a percent. So let's try some other examples and see if you can do this on your own. Example one, we have one over five. Again, you can use either approach, but here in the lesson, we're gonna use method one as our primary, primary method. All right, so how do you convert this to a percent? Well, using method one, we would divide one by five. And this one, you should have memorized, but if not, you can divide, <clears throat> add a decimal point and a zero. Five goes into 10 two times. Two times five is 10, subtract, and we get zero. And the decimal point goes right here. So one fifth is the same thing as 0 0.2. Now as a percent, we can move this decimal point over two places to the right. One takes you after the two. We need to take it one further, which requires us to add a zero at the end. So when you do that, you now have 20 or 20%. Let's try another example. Here we have two over three. Again, this should be a, a fraction you have memorized, but if not, uh, you could go through the division process where we take two divide by three. To begin, we need to add a decimal point and a zero, and then see how many times is three going to 20. Three goes into 20 six times, decimal point goes here. Six times three is 18, subtract and we get two. Put a zero, bring it down and repeat. Three goes into 20 again six times. Six times three is 18, subtract we get two. Notice it's gonna keep repeating. We keep getting 20, which means we're gonna keep getting six up here. All right, so our decimal is going to be uh, 0.6666, etc. And so as a percent, our decimal point has to go over two places to the right. One, two, to get 66.66%, which if you round that to the nearest hundredth, or nearest tenth, sorry, that would be approximately 66.7%. So the rounding, just make sure you follow directions. So if it specifies, make sure you round to the appropriate place. If it doesn't specify, you can just round it to 10th or 100th. It really doesn't matter too much. All right, here's uh, some more examples. So here we have five over seven. This one is not one you'd have memorized probably. So that's why we're explaining this example. All right, so five sevenths. How do you convert this to a percent? Well, again, we can divide five by seven, we have to add a decimal point and a zero and begin the division process. Seven goes into 50 seven times, decimal point goes here, seven times seven is 49, subtract and we get one. Put a zero, bring it down and repeat, seven goes into 10 one time, one times seven is seven, subtract and we get three. Put a zero here, bring it down and repeat, seven goes into 30 four times, four times seven is 28, Subtract, we get two. Then we can add another zero, bring it down and repeat. So seven goes into 20 two times. Two times seven is 14, subtract, we get six. And we could keep going, um, get another zero, bring it down, get eight next time. So just go far enough where you can round at least to the nearest 10th, uh, that's probably what I'd recommend. So here we have 0.71428. So I went this far because to convert to a percent, you have to bring the decimal point over two places to the right. 
which gives you 71.428 uh, percent, which if you round this to the nearest tenth, for example, would be 71.4 percent. So again, the rounding is not, um, it doesn't matter too much where you round, but you don't want to keep going forever, so just pick some place unless it specifies otherwise. So your rounded answer would be 71.4 percent. Now to finish off, we want to know how to change a percent into a fraction. So how do we go the other direction? So to do this, remember percent by definition means divide by 100. So the process is you write the percent as something over 100 and then simplify if needed. So for example, if we had 24%, percent means divide by 100. So we have 24 divided by 100. And then simplify if possible. Here we notice the top and the bottom both can be divided by 4. 24 divided by 4 is 6. 100 divided by 4 is 25. So the simplified answer is 6 over 25. Okay, try example 2 on your own. How would you write 78% as a fraction? Well, to do this, we'd want to take 78 and write it as something over 100, because percent means divide by 100. So for this one, to simplify, notice that both top and bottom are even numbers. We could divide both by 2 for sure. Divide both by 2, we get 39 on the top and 50 on the bottom. And that cannot be taken any further, so 39 over 50 is your simplified answer. One more example, here we have 450%. So this percent is larger than 100, which makes it a little bit different, but still the same idea, where percent means divide by 100. So we have 450 divided by 100, and we want to simplify. Well, we see right away that we can divide both numbers by 10. So 450 divided by 10 is 45. 100 divided by 10 is 10. So basically the zeros at the end will cancel out. And then we can carry this further. Um, we, uh, we can actually divide both top and bottom by 5. That gives you 9 over 2. So we have 9 over 2, and it's best if we write this as a mixed number. Um, it's not it's crucial either way, but definitely simplify to at least this. But for everyday life, it's simpler, or it's better if we can convert um, to a mixed number. All right, so 9 over 2, we just do 9 divided by 2, which would be 4 and a half. So this is 4 and a half. That is going to be our answer. So our solution is 4 and a half. That's how you write 450% as a fraction. So in this lesson, we've learned how to convert a percent to a decimal, a decimal to a percent, and a fraction to a percent, and a percent to a fraction. And that concludes our lesson for today. We will see you next time.